We had a great meeting today with uh, President Paul Kagame, the head of state of the Republic of Rwanda. We were asked by uh, the President of Rwanda to put together a group of leaders in Atlanta from business, NGO, academic, uh, and other communities to uh, let him talk about the great progress that has happened in Rwanda. Of course, it is a country with great challenges as well, but the focus was to see how Rwanda is building a set of partnerships around the world and also building their own internal uh, systems and strengths uh, to be able to produce uh, the kind of economic growth that we've seen in Rwanda over the last several years. They're currently at about 8% growth at GDP. So having the president of Rwanda come to Atlanta to talk to business, NGO, academic leaders is a really important thing. And we had good representation uh, from a variety of those institutions and organizations at the table. Uh, the president was introduced by Ambassador Andrew Young, uh, who of course is our first citizen in Atlanta, and not only a former mayor and congressman, but an ambassador to the United Nations, and is well known all over the world, but especially in Africa. So it was a wonderful uh, event. We also had Senator Johnny Isaacson, who came because of his deep and long interest in Africa, uh, to talk about how the uh, uh, Africa is making progress, and Rwanda specifically has visited Rwanda on a number of occasions. It's not only a place where uh, there are issues of geopolitics and regional politics, uh, but it has to do with our involvement in global health, in water projects, and many things that Senator Isaacson has been involved in his career. So we had really three uh, great leaders at the table, but focused on uh, President Kagame of uh, Rwanda. This is great for the World Affairs Council to do because part of our role in the city of Atlanta is to convene, the power to convene, or at least the ability to put in the room the people that the head of state wanted in the room uh, from our membership, our board, and other uh, uh, people that he specifically wanted in the room because he knew that they were involved in Rwanda. In the presentation and in the discussion, he hit a number of points, and I'd like to ask Chris Brown, Dr. Chris Brown, who is the Vice President of Research and Analysis for the World Affairs Council of Atlanta uh, and uh, in the Political Science Department of Georgia State University, to give us a quick idea of what his takeaways, what did he hear the President say, and something about the comments that were made. Well, what really struck me, Wayne, was the President's desire to have an integrated approach to tackling the challenges that face Rwanda. Right after the first question, he was all about talking about there's political challenges, there's social challenges, there's economic challenges, but they're all integrated. They're all the same uh, net group of challenges from dealing with malaria or dealing with HIV AIDS to shifting to really what are more operational challenges, getting the roads right. Getting Rwanda has recently floated some bonds, and when asked about you know what do you want that money for, he was all about we need roads, we need infrastructure, we need these different types of things. So it was an integrated approach that he brought, and another key theme of something that you just touched on of the event was partnerships. So it's an integrated approach to dealing with the different types of challenges that are out there and forming po partnerships with the different groups and the different constituencies which are in the room. And so, and to me, in many ways, he validated the World Affairs Council of Atlanta approach of tackling issues in, in, in an integrated way and helping form those partnerships. Well, one, but let me say one thing I wanted to ask is why Rwanda in the first place? I mean, Rwanda is not by far not the biggest country in Africa, but what makes Rwanda special in this set of conversations? A apart from their developmental challenges, why is Senator Isaacs and why does he fly from Washington to be with the president of Rwanda? What are the issues that we care about as the United States? Well, I guess when one answer to your question is the point that the president made several times about how 
he has really sought to institutionalize Rwanda, make it Rwanda Inc. Like the book that we were all given when we left, Rwanda, he says, Rwanda is not going to be the next Switzerland or it's not going to be the next Singapore, it's going to be the next Rwanda. But by setting institutions and processes in place, he's gained the respect of the international community and um, tried to, to put in place uh, a foundation for which good governance, good structures in Rwanda can last past his time in office. I thought it was interesting when our board member Frank Blunt asked about will he stay, will, you know, what's his plans after 2017, will he stay on, and his response is, no, we're really trying to set the foundations so that it's not about a person, it's about a process. One of the things we talk about in World First Council, of course, is geopolitics and international relations. Uh, we often get off into developmental issues. Just give me a sentence or two about why is Rwanda important from a geopolitical point of view? Well, think about where, where Rwanda is. First, you've got to go back to the genocide. We all focused on what, you know, th this horrific thing that happened to Rwanda. So the international community has been concerned about Rwanda um, and the healing that goes on after something that difficult. But if you look at where Rwanda is, it's a small country in a strategic place, right? right? So you have the Democratic Republic of Congo, the Eastern Republic of Congo is a mess in many ways right now. You have Uganda right there, you have Kenya right there. All of these are huge strategic players in a region which has very strategic value. And so, um, and we could actually even go to the east and, and begin to look at Somalia and, and other types of places. So, um, I think that Ambassador Young at the beginning did point out that there are criticisms of what's going on in Rwanda. And so we have to keep those on the table as well. But at the same time, Rwanda is a place which has gotten a lot of um, kudos for the processes, the integration of strategy, and all those different types of things that from a developmental person's point of view, from trying to think, what is the international community, what is the buzzword, it's holism and trying to do things in a broad way and set up those institutions of development, I think that that's where President Kagame gets the credit. Well, we uh, it was a great event, uh, and we looked to uh, also the American interest. One of the things World Affairs Council is concerned about is what, why does this matter to us as American citizens? Why should we be involved in Rwanda? And there are a lot of reasons, both from developmental and strategic reasons, that this is a very volatile part of the world, and Rwanda has the potential of being part of the solution uh, and uh, uh, to very complex issues in the, in the region. And under the current leadership, they are actually great friends of America in a lot of ways. So uh, there are a lot of reasons. We'll uh, stay tuned to see how President Kagame does uh, going forward and how uh, U.S. engagement in the place is uh, successful and what pathways we take uh, to be involved.